Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Nosebleed Seats. I'm the Mac Conservative Crime Fighter. My returning guests are the team of uh, Andy Roberts and Connor Riley. The R&R Escorts are also known as the New Age Heartthrobs. Are we? We were that one night. We were one night. <laughs> they wanted to come back because we didn't even get to half the stuff that was on my sheet when we did that two-part interview up in Beacon, Illinois. So here we are in Moreau, Illinois, at the site of uh, Great American Wrestling's WrestleCade 5, and we're going to do real stories of wrestlers on the road, and the first uh, story I have to ask Connor, can you tell us about the heroism story? <laughs> well, okay, it's, I work uh, third shift in a hotel or did a few years ago, and uh, we were up there one night and there was a lady who was under a assumed name in our hotel. Don't know why, but long story short, um, when I was going to get her some ice, she actually was attempting, she actually rented the hotel room to kill herself. And so it was, uh, I had to obviously call the police and take care of that situation because that, and I was going to get a really cool award and they were going to do something really cool for me and then the hotel went out of business. Um, and didn't That's pay, not good. And didn't pay my paycheck, so. Can they do that? Uh, they can if they don't have any money. That's true. It's like Thank a wrestling you. show. Yeah, it's really, it was kind of, it was very indie. I looked bad for laughing through that whole story, but the shenanigans behind you know, the camera were just... Yeah, for anyone who didn't know, Mason Beck and Bobby Houston decided they thought they were funny, and that's why Andy broke. It wasn't because he was laughing at suicide. Anyways, go ahead, cry fire. <laughs> Truth, uh, when, you, when you posted that story in your MySpace page, you gained my respect. Thank you. I, it's, believe it or not, outside of wrestling, I know I'm talking kind of a goofball, but outside of wrestling, there are a few things I take serious as... You know, you know, suicide being one. <laughs> suicide being one of them. Um, so it was, it was, it was actually very big and whatnot. So, cool. Andy, the next story is for you. Um, you have this so-called show and tell story. The show and tell story. Yes. All right. Well, does he in, not know what this story is about? No, I, t I, no, we all know. Um, in in June, nice. Um, <laughs> more shenanigans. The countless Corey Carter's just joined us and. Uh, um, anyway, show and tell, speaking of showing and not telling. Um, yeah, don't show us anymore. We went to Philadelphia in June. Um, in, in ring friend of mine, an out ring friend of mine as well, went out to uh, Philadelphia and moved out there recently and is going to start training in Chikara. Um, Joe Leonard, actually. Um, wish him all the best out there. I don't know. I haven't talked to him in a while. I don't know if he's starting yet. I think he's planning to start the first of the year. He's though. actually trying to do some cheerleader. Bravo. Um, good for him. Cheerleader Melissa. Anyway, different story. Um, we went to a Phillies baseball game, and afterwards we decided that it was going to be fun to go to a strip club because what, we're wrestlers, right? Can you say that on TV? Can you say strip club? Right. Yeah, gentlemen established. Gentlemen's club. An R Just don't escort drop venue. any four letter words. An escort venue. <laughs> um, and Joe, being the goofy guy that he is, does not want to go in at all because he's just, I, I don't know, he's kind of awkward, antisocial sometimes. So Connor and I go in and it turns up to be the best, best club ever. Um, mostly because their whole gimmick in there. Are you familiar with Bozo's Buckets? Yeah. You know, good old Chuck E. Cheese game. Grand prize game. game. Grand yes, prize game. game. Except this one doesn't, you don't get a hundred bucks. Um, <laughs> This one, the, their thing was, they would, they would do their little dance, and then they would come up to you and go spread eagle, and, uh, can you say that? <laughs> That's Just, up for them. They would, they would open, uh, They basically do the splits. They would do the splits. their legs. They would do the, the they, they would go. do the splits, and they'd give you, like, a field goal. And you just you throw a dollar bill, and if you made the field goal, you got a kiss. And it was it was by far the most ingenious thing ever, other than the other than what we were gonna do to Joe and drop him off at the cave, which was a mint. Which was a Anyways, club, but <laughs> and it's something I know you're I know you're gonna leave out, and I'll just be able to say it. The Asian, um, the Asian man. There was a very yes. <laughs> very pretty Asian dancer who had an Adam's apple. We're pretty sure. And but a very deep talk, voice. She talk like this. Mm -hmm. And the, the girls there are very shameless. Usually they pretend to like you, and there they just it was flat out, hey, you want one? No. No. And you would say no as you put your money away. It was, <laughs> I don't got any money. 
I think at one point it was actually, no, I don't have any money. That whole Philadelphia trip was just a hoot. Watching Sarah Del Rey big boot the kid. The kid. Was, what, 5'2"? Five 5'2". Two? Five two. That was awesome. And but, yeah, that was that's the show and tell story. And the next one is for both of you. The GAW mailboxing. And I don't, that apparently involves Black Dragon's wooden sword. I don't think you were involved for this, though. It was, no, I was not You were probably on the show that night. It was on the way home. This, is with, this was Dennis Devine, Stumpy, Black Dragon, and uh, myself. And it's funny itself because Black Dragon speaks no English. <laughs> so it's, it's all mine. Um, mm -hmm. But we're on the way home, um, and Dennis Devine had a Jeep at the time. Um, he still does. It's eh, whatever. Either way, different car at the time, and we were driving. We're going through. We're back from actually coming home from Barona to uh, Bloomington at the time, and it's it's all rural drive. And so we decided just you know let's go down a country uh, country country road and see what all's out there. We're bored. This is after the show. We're not ready to call it quits. We're having a good time. So we look in the back seat. And we find Black Dragon's Boken sword, and we decide that um, we want to play some baseball with the Boken sword. And what better ball to use than a mailbox? And so, to now this is a federal this sword. is a federal offense, but I'm not telling you whose boxes I smash. So catch me if you can. Um, so you engaged in some criminal. We we oh yes, um, but the best the best part Are was. Are you sure was, you want to go forward? With I'm this? going forward with it. Like there's no tomorrow. Stumpy. Stumpy chose not to. Stumpy took the the sword, and instead of doing the normal like swing at the box, it was more of a back and forth and snap the boken sword right in half. Okay, Andy. Um, a little extension on the comments from the last episode. Um, you actually have a top shot against the for the uh, Heartland Heritage Wrestling Heritage, Coalition. Heritage Wrestling Coalition. Heritage, okay. I do. That is tonight at WrestleCade Five. By the time this airs, um, be a couple months I, will, after I will be the champion. I like to think I'm going to do I do what I do what I got to do out there. Yeah. Um, you know, we'll see how it goes. It's it's something that. I really wasn't aware of until last minute, and that's not really a. Thing. Yeah, you heard it from me. That's not a bash either way. It's you heard it from me. I'm the one who heard it. I heard it from this guy. It was a good surprise. I guess you know, they saw something in. I'd like to say they saw something in me that they wanted to give it a go, but um, I mean, yeah, it's it's cool. kind of the first title defense I think outside of New Breed that they're doing with it. So it's it's kind of it's a, it's a good honor. A Connor. <laughs> Since we taped that episode, there has been a lot of fuss about a ladder match here at GAW. What can, can I the heck happened? <laughs> okay, first of all, yeah, the ladder match was bad. We all have bad matches. It's simple as that. It was a bad match. I probably didn't belong in a ladder match. Cause, well, they're also saying you should retire. Uh, well, you know, who's saying this? You had it. Oh, hang, hang on, my, hang on, hang on, my hang message on. board. Yeah, actually. I understand that. Who are they? Green worker. Oh, not, who, I'm not allowed to tell you so, who it is. So my, my point is, my point is this, and I don't mean this to disrespect him, and I'm sure he's going to see this and start posting all day, and I, I don't know who he is, so I'm not trying to disrespect him, but if you can't come up to me and say, hey, this is where I am and this is how I feel, your opinion really doesn't matter to me. Because I'm the type of person who, if you come up to me and you go, look, this is how I feel, this is who I, you know, I'm so-and-so, this is how I feel, I'm gonna probably I'm gonna take it to heart and maybe listen to you, but if you post something under a fake name and you won't say who you are, I'm just not gonna acknowledge you. It's simple as that. And the best the last best of your match tonight. Well, and, to, and to chip in to add to that, if your name is Green Worker, implying that you're green, you have no business telling somebody that's been around longer what they can and can't do. And that's just from a personal. You you could be the. The worst wrestler in the world. I've been doing this for eight years, but if you've been doing this for one year and you're getting a contract, it's not your place to tell somebody that's been doing this longer than you. Um, keep your mouth shut and roll with the punches. That's how you don't get booked. You could you could hate the person you're wrestling as a person. You could think they're a terrible wrestler in the ring. Shut up. Just go out there, do your job, go home, take your payday, knock on wood that you're getting one, and move on. I mean, yeah. Everybody like fights another match. Unless you break your you know, neck. Everybody's a bad going. match. You know, whatever he, I want, he wants me to tire, that's awesome. Um, when I know who he is and he can talk to me face to face, I'll listen until that. Until then, as far as I'm concerned, I don't know what you're talking about. I, I read part of the thread of that of that bashing, and the only thing that I can oh, I that, that I can time. constructively say that's is my fault. is the people, most, the majority of the people that posted negatively on that match, and honestly, I wasn't at the show and I didn't see it, and I am not saying this from somebody who's watched it or hasn't watched it. The people who post on that thread really don't work any legitimate shows. They're they're very, if you can as far call as it, you know. yarderish. Um, as far as I know, but like exactly, 
they have no credibility. So it is what it is. It's a buried issue. Why keep talking about it for no reason? Now you're going to be in the cage match tonight. Yes, I am. Uh, after this, after this interview, very in the program, we're going to run up to Connor after he comes out of the cage to uh, get his comment about the experience. All right, we're moving on. Do we have anything more? You had any stories about Minnesota, Iowa, Chicago, or St. Louis? I think I story about Chicago real quick. I love the guys up in Chicago to death. Uh, they probably won't see this, but I love them to death. But the best piece of advice I can give is if you ever book a cage match, set the darn thing up once before you, before the night of the show, because they or, or be very thankful you have a Boy Scout on the card who can you know do some quick knots. But but other than that, I love those guys to death, and you know I have nothing bad to say about them. I think I'm out of out of stories that are that need to be told to the world. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> some stories should just not be told to the public, and I think you and I both know what those are. Okay. Here's the next one. What's the deal with OSWA? You wanted to tell something about what's going on with that organization and its Here, promoter. Big let Daddy. me dig the hole, okay. and you can bury them. It's real okay. simple. <laughs> it's real. No, no. Hear me out. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell the good and the bad. Okay. I met Big Daddy years ago down in St. Louis when I was working down in St. Louis, and I was kind of always skittish towards the man because he always didn't seem like he was on the level. When he started working shows up in the Moline, I was on the first show, and they drew about. 80 to 90 people, um, and it was not a couple hundred. No, that's the first show. Oh, first show, that's first show. First show in Moline, they only drew about 80 or 90, but it was, it was fun. It was a good show. Okay. And after that, they did the Galesburg show. And Galesburg drew over 300. It was the crowd was so fever pitch. Uh, it was it was amazing. It was a great great experience. And at both those times, I have received my money before the show started. I had my money in my hand. After that, I never saw another dime. I worked for him every time. Now, you know, you you do a little bit driving. Bloomington, Iowa is quite a trip. And if you promise money, Bloomington. Not, Bloomington. Bloomington, Bloomington, Bloomington to Iowa. Iowa. To Iowa. Oh, quite okay. a trip. And to not receive the money I was promised, kind of got irritated. Um, after that, there was so there was so much stuff with the other Galesburg show and what else, and I wasn't there, so I can't say. But I will say this: um, that is a bad man. He's a bad promoter. Um, he will swindle people out of their money as fast as they possibly can. And I feel sorry for anyone that works for him. And I'm not stupid and do it would do any physical harm to him, but if something bad were to happen to him, oh my god. This is this now is all I don't know if you heard Stumpy's interview, he commented that he apparently always got paid. Yes, but yes, and you know what Stumpy did always get paid. Stumpy was also let go on the third show, and it's not because of anything Stumpy did, it's because Stumpy always got paid. And you know, we kept trying to book him without telling him. <laughs> he kept trying to book him without telling him, but I was there the night they released Stumpy. They, 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 let, they let him wrestle, wrestle one more match and they let him go. And the reason they let him go, I found out, was because Stumpy wanted more money than most of the boys were getting. Oh, and that's well, well, no, 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 it wasn't that. Most, you know, I'll, I'll be honest. The people who rode with me and myself made about ten bucks. Stumpy was making quite a bit more than that. Um, so, you know, and, and you know, I'm not saying Stumpy wasn't worth it like that, but that's why he was let go. It wasn't because of anything he did. And they said he let him go. Realistically, Stumpy probably said, "Hey, you know, this isn't right for me." Realistically, I mean, the the truth of the matter, because there's always three sides to every story. So. Um, I, I I wouldn't work for him again. Um, I wouldn't. Well, it looks like there's one, two, three more other feds that have, a couple of other feds that have opened up. Uh, well, and that's the thing. This place is Dynasty uh, Pro. This is City Wrestling. Q QCW's been around. They're a yard fed. Off and on. I'll say it. They're a yard fed that runs in Scott County's old venue. And they got a couple. They got a couple. They got a, they got guys that they bring in that that are they're homegrown guys that are worth worth going to see. But the majority of that card is just they're untrained, no gear. Like and Rowan's brothers. I mean, I'm not, I'm not naming names. I don't know names. I know what I've seen up there, and I know enough that I'm not trying to be a human heat machine right now. But I think it's there comes a point in time where you just need to be honest with the situation. And QCW is just not there yet. No, they have leaps and bounds to go. But all the best to them because look at NGW five years yeah, ago. Yeah. So we'll look where we are now. Everybody was please pay heat sure. to the disclaimer right across the bottom of the screen. If he's expressed by that by my guess of the nosebleed seats do not necessarily <laughs> reflect the views of myself, Chris Lee, Mofi 5706, or anybody else associated with the program. So now we transition into word association. We got about, uh, let's need a little time to do that post cage interview here, so we're about 10 minutes. WWE. Um, their product is to the point where I still enjoy it. Um, 
wrestling is what it is. The UFC has really, really put a hurt on professional wrestling. Even though the UFC is a work, and whether you want to believe that or not, watch the Kimbo Slice fight from a couple weeks ago. That's you, Elite XC, though. If you, not, if it's still, it's still, it's still the same thing. It's still MMA, and if you watch that, you just got knocked out by a Smoothie King manager and took a Raspberry Sunrise right to the face. But um, it's so a word. Through the fight, give it, give it five years, and it'll be exposed what it is, and then wrestlers will look great again because people will be like, oh, they're not getting punched in the head for real. They're not stupid. It's gonna be. So, right. I think a lot of people got thrown As far as the WWE that. product goes, it, it, every product has room. Every product has room to improve. It's always going to be like that. But I like it because they're, they're going back to a more basic gimmicky style. And that is what sells. Honestly, love the Ring of Honor guys to death. All the respect to them. But a triple flipping pile driver of doom just isn't believable. And, you know, a roaring forearm to me is. No, and not pile cool. driver, not cool. Punch the head. Mm -hmm. So that's my thoughts on, on, on Vince and all and what's going on now. I'm just gonna say real quick, there's a reason there's a reason they're still on the top of the hill. But and there's not a viable alternative except UFC. Well, well but the thing about it is, they the thing say about it's it is the new why, wrestling. Why, why is there why is there no? Because Vince put him a lot of business. He must have done something right. Except for the, the freaking Kazarni gimmick. The competition also. The Kazarni gimmick. No, right either. I don't even think he's debuted yet, but the Kazarni gimmick will ruin wrestling again because that's what Vince does. Vince builds it up and he kills it by doing a stupid, stupid gimmick that exposes things. His name and is that, Lenny Lane. That really, that's not Lenny. It is, I will put money on it. It's not Lenny. I'll put money on Shin's it. working with Lenny. It's not I'll Lenny. Put okay, put money TNA. on it. TNA. Uh, They've come leaps and bounds. They're, they're fun to watch, actually, right now. They've got good programming. But the they, problem is, the ratings have consistently been flat for the entire year. Ratings are flat, but the product's good. I mean, it's hard to make a change with people sometimes. The ratings are flat, but the product looks good right now. H, um, HPW. HP. I think I skip it because we are. No, that's, that's fine. Going. That's fine. Real quick, I'll just say this. Nice idea. Not everybody can run a wrestling company. Touche. That's all I'm MSPW. Never got a chance to work with him. Didn't know much of him from him. They ran. Hey, they, they, well, they, they combined a show. It wasn't a straight up MSPW show. What the tape that I've seen, I've really enjoyed. Uh, but I don't know anything more than that. So I, I actually miss MSPW, and mainly because um, I got an opportunity to meet a lot of bigger names that I probably would not have got met without 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 the person who ran MSPW being so cordial and inviting me in. NGW. Oh, did I jump too soon? No, uh, NGW, prime of Central Illinois right now. NGW and, and New Midwest, still both the, and I'm sure that's probably next on your list, yeah, but I'll, ahead, I'll just kill two birds with one <laughs> stone both. there. Both of them are, are, are the prime right now in that area. I think GAW is close behind. There's still change to go, but as far as production value and, and the, the Chicago work rate we've got coming down on every month show, I, I still believe I, everybody's got room to go and next generation wrestling's got a lot around the corner. But then again, you know, everybody's got changes to make, so. You yeah. W? New Midwest. New Midwest? They're, they're looking up and up right now. They, you know, they haven't, I haven't worked for them in a year, so I don't, their cards, are, their cards have been strong. All of Central Illinois has been stepping up the game lately, though. Everybody's well, I think cards are getting stronger and stronger. And I think some of them have. Not everybody. Um, well, just about New Midwest, I say this: they've been around for a long time, and I don't see them not being around. You know, I don't see them, you know, in dire straits anytime in in, in the future. SLW. Um, haven't worked for them in quite a while either. Would love to go back down there. Of course, they've been. They've been, dormant for they the were smart. Months. No, they were smart. They took the summer off because that is the hardest well, time to draw. Well, they've taken the fall off, too. They, you know, I don't know where they've been, but, you know, they, the original plan was to take the summer off. And honestly, if you're going to run spot shows, that's an awesome idea because it's hard to draw during the summer. And you can come back with a new roster, new faces. I'd, I'd love to go down to SLW. I want to wrestle on six Saturday. New breed. Love going down there. Have the time of my life. Locker room's great to be in. It's always a show. It's they're, always they're a good show. Time. December 6th. Um, big show they got coming up. They got a bunch of names coming. Honky Talk Man, Jake Roberts, Rosie, Danny Basham. And the uh, show will have aired after this program has uh, Well, there you go. Blake Steele will be there, too. G-A-W. <laughs> well, we're there right now. We're Russell Kate V. Oh, Russell Kate V. V. Um, it's home. It is. You know, I had my, I, I had my first... 
I, my first match was, was in Springfield. This is my first real, legitimate, decent singles match was in GAW, and they really gave me my first push um, towards letting me spread my wings and go. Love them to death. This is always, I always consider this one of my babies, so to speak. So. This, is, this is home. Um, I love this building. I love this building and I love being here. I mean, it's cold in the winter and it's hot in the summer, but that's professional wrestling. There, this building, this building is a it. fed too that I think is one of the most underrated feds in the area. Their cards sometimes are hit or miss, but lately it's usually hit or miss. Lately, they're they're getting better and better, and I can guarantee you, come the first of the year, everybody talks about big changes of brewing. I guarantee you, things are going to turn around down here. NCW at a pair of I'm not allowed to use four-letter words, um, but just be. Honest. I've never seen any of their shows. Um, I've watched quite a bit of their tape online just because I work third shift and so I have lots of free time to be on YouTube. I've watched some of their stuff online. Um, there's some good talent there and there's some very lackluster talent the there. Talent, the, the, talent, the talent they have is outside guys just looking for work. I would work for New Championship Wrestling if I got to know who my opponent was ahead of time. I honestly would not feel comfortable with one of their homegrown, so to speak, guys. Um, They've got they're booking they're booking kids that aren't trained and don't have gear and that's two cardinal fouls in wrestling. Six of them went to IWA Mid South's tryout show. Okay. And first all, all first six of, all, of them didn't make it. First so. of all, one of them, no, one that's of them, not correct. One of them was not. No, were you talking about the six man tag they did? They weren't all in the six man tag. Which four who, of them were, and who, then two who, of them were in a single. Who made it? Who got X back? It was Project Mayhem, no, they Jordan it, Vandal, and. Those, those guys that are in CW originals, though, that's the wait, thing. Wait, wait, wait. Like, they get asked back to come back to the next training session. Or trial right. session, right? Yeah. That next trial show. Yeah, that's, I mean, I, I wouldn't call that getting asked back. No, then they didn't make it because they, the guys who got asked back as Ryan Phoenix and Kyle, and Kyle Rich were brought back the next weekend to do an IWA Rob, South, so. Kyle Rich suffered a broken foot. And you, you know what? That's Kyle, been very last. Kyle, that's, that's been Kyle's dream. Some people want to work for WWE. Some people want to work for Ring of Honor. Kyle's always wanted to work for Mid South, and honestly, he's going to get back there and he's going to blow it out of the water. Get better, Kyle. PWE, what do you know about him? Don't know anything. Who cares? It's another Fed that's going to try to run, and good luck. Adding to the uh, Federation sprawl. Too many, my new term for that. Too many, too quick. Who cares? Move on. That's what I say to yep. that. They Go ahead. Run a Next show, question. Nothing to prove. SCW. That's Scott County. Scott County. I, that's one of my goals to work by, by mid next year, as I want to be in Scott County. Um, it's it's kind of hard, from what I hear, to get booked up there, because a lot of them are Danny's trainees. Um, slash other great, great, great indie workers. Um, but that is one of my goals, is to be there by the summer. UWC, that's United Wrestling Coalition, and they're running Savoy tonight. Um, no. UWC, I have never worked with them, but I know someone who has. second show. I know way. someone who has, and um, he still wants his payday. No, oh! I have no opinion, oh. never oh. seen their work. No, I'm not, trying to, I'm not trying to be mean. No, that was honestly what I was yeah. told. I was told if that question was back up, I was supposed to say that by somebody, and I'm not going to say who because I don't want to be mean. But that's honestly what I was told. That's not for me. I, I have no problem. Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen Tracy, Tracy Smothers just walked by. <laughs> uh, never seen their product. Have no opinion on it. PWI. That's Paris Wrestling Incorporated. Which um, seems to be dead. Again, haven't know. seen them run a show in a I, while. There's somebody I would love to go work for. But I have never. This is the first time I've heard of them. I, they're out of, really? Out of they're Lincoln. They're out of Lincoln. Out of Lincoln. Maddie Oh, Powerhouse? Yeah, yeah. Powerhouse. Oh, Powerhouse, I've heard of. Yeah, I like Powerhouse. All I know is Powerhouse. That was the, the uh, last show they ran that was not the tribute show. I guess my t-shirts were being worn in the audience, so. <laughs> yes, they were. That was pretty cool. Book me Powerhouse. That was great. All right, we only got a couple of minutes left. Uh, 3CW. Dead uh, distinct. Why talk about it? Yeah, <laughs> I, you know, wish them best of luck, but yeah. UVW. Dead and distinct. Why talk about it? That didn't even exist. Go ahead. VBI. Fun. Love them. Love working the VBI. I worked my first one this year. Uh, between between some politics, between non-existent issues anymore and a, and a knee problem, didn't work the first one. No hard feelings. This team was, was, was a blast. Mid-Pro Wrestling. Which is what the Nelspleet seat. You didn't know him. You weren't here for that. I wasn't no, here. I don't know that. anything about Dynasty Pro. Uh, Chris Lee's gonna get on your case for that. Well, they did invite you. I well, wasn't there. Chris, Sorry. Right. Um, I'd like to work for him. I'm always open to work yeah. with anybody, as long as you know dates mm -hmm. are right and I don't ask for much. Just make sure it's something. Quad Cities wrestling scene. 
I wish I could see Scott more. County. Yeah, Quad Scott City. County. Quad City yeah. Wrestling Scene yeah. is Scott County. Okay. Yeah. Chicago Wrestling Scene. Um, it's hey. like everywhere else. I'm just. It's kidding. Chicago. It's just like Central Illinois with with bigger buffer guys. They when they have the same drama up there that we do down there. It's just more ego. IWA Mid South and AEW are the places to be. And finally, St. Louis Wrestling Scene. Um, I don't get to hear as much about it as I used to. I used to go down there quite often, and you know, and I knew quite a few guys. And um, it's, I don't hear much about it anymore, which is kind of sad. Um, I, I do, I do check check your thing and kind of see and see some old names. And um, there's a lot of new names that I don't know, and there's a, and the old names that I know just kind of seem to be lower on the card. So I assume the product's getting better. I. Um, I don't really, I honestly don't know much out of St. Louis. All I know is they got they got Dingo down there, and they've got, um, I think, is it Donovan? Is it Donovan? Donovan Redick? 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 He's good Redick? Stuff. I know he's up and coming. He's a big deal, and he's got a bright future ahead of him. Um, but that's that's. My Jeremy Lightfoot does not. Um, but as far as the only, only complaint, and I got to say it, on the whole... Um, High high voltage wrestling. High voltage is, wrestling. The only com the one. only complaint I have is they are part of the uh, Heritage Wrestling Coalition, as well as New Breed and GAW and S SLW, SLW. I believe are what what's in it now. My only complaint is their next show they have New Breed versus HVW yeah. matches. My problem with that is any other if it wasn't a, a Heritage Wrestling Coalition sanctioned something. Awesome, more power to you, gimmick it up. But if the Heritage Wrestling Coalition is supposed to be something like the NWA where everybody's trying to work together and make the product better, then that makes absolutely no sense. Because the NWA Midwest did not invade the NWA East Coast. They had a traveling champion, which is what the H H or HWC has, but that was your money guy. You traveled, you may, you may crap it for a couple weeks, but then you knew you got your guy, you got your champion coming in. And... I think it's going to end up being more drama and more ego than it's worth. But I don't understand why they clash like that if they're all trying to work for the same cause. All right. Good luck in your matches tonight. You're going for the Heritage. You're going for HWC chop title. You're doing the Warcade War Games match. <laughs> it's it's more, okay, let me just say this. Instead of War Games, we're, we're out more time. Right here. Oh, go ahead. ahead. It's, a, it's, it's, it's a cage match. It's an eight-man cage match. It's an eight-man tag cage match, essentially. But yeah. All right. This is Mad Conservative Crime Fighter. Thank you for watching the... Nosebleed seats. Next week we will have Matt Cage in here. See you next week. The cage is back. Right here. It's all. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the state champion, Matt Cage. Now watching this match, you know, it had to be done. You know, wars had to be settled. But like I said at the beginning of the show, you know, I was cleaning up the roster and Nate. It's Connor! Nate made a mistake. The story goes, Jackson White goes on first, but no. You have to be the big shot and go. Well, guess what? The services of GW are no longer recognized. You're fired. Woo! I have to lay this. A long time ago, five years ago, when you came to my gym, you could never make a professional wrestler. You know, you, you're a joke, but you are. Hi, Riley. Huh? Central States Champion! Wait a minute! Oh, this is ridiculous!
this is a travesty.